is Pale Face Gunslinger, and I won the Bob's Custom Saddles Rookie Level 2 Showdown and the Toyon Ranch Rookie Level 1 Showdown. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, your horse has put in two great runs this week. Uh, what are your thoughts there? Um, I'm just thankful and proud of him for putting up with all of it and still showing like a rock star. How's he feeling? He feels great. I mean, he always feels great, and um, the people at the barn are always taking care of him and making sure that he's at his best, and so I appreciate that the most. So he's, he's wonderful. <laughs> And what was it like for you going through the Gateway of Champions today and showing in the Coliseum? Very, very nerve-wracking. Um, I was very nervous going in there, and running in is kind of hard because he's a little weird about the gate, and so I was, like, nervous about that part. But once we ran in and we started our pattern, I kind of settled down. Uh, how did you help prepare him for that nervousness at the gate? <laughs> um, I just took some deep breaths. <laughs> I, I don't deal with nervousness very well, but I try. <laughs> um, how was he different today than he was when you showed him earlier this week? I felt like he was way more like ready to go. Um, this arena amps him up a little bit, and so he was a little bit like ahead of me almost, but he still stayed very much with me, which I was very happy about. Uh, did your trainer give you any special advice before you went in today? No, <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't give special advice. He just keeps it the same, consistent. So very cool. And after this show, where will you guys? What, what will you be doing? Um, honestly, I'm not entirely sure yet. Just take it one step at a time and see where we go from here. And who do you want to thank for helping you get here? Um, obviously, I want to thank the sponsors, Toyon Ranch and Bob's Custom Saddles, as well as my grandparents, Kim Niven and Tim Anderson. Um, and Dan Huss and the whole Huss team, as well as my boss at Elite Equine, and just everyone that loves and supports me. All right. Hi, I'm Frank Costantini. I'm here this afternoon with Amanda Lester and Chloe Lawrence. Amanda, you have some questions you'd like to ask Chloe and I as far as what we do with Markel? I sure do, Frank. So, what all does Markel cover? We cover farms and ranches, uh, equine mortality, commercial liability, and also autos. And Frank, what's so important about Markel? Well, we provide service. You know, it's a 24-hour claim service uh, anytime, day or night. If you can't get a hold of a Markel representative on our toll-free number, you know, as I tell people, you know, Chloe keeps her phone by her bedside all the time, and, and you know, unless I'm on a plane, my phone is on. So we've got about 24-hour service, you know, and I think that's very important because uh, horse people, as you know, have, have difficulty keeping a schedule. And what most people would consider the norm, horse people don't. It's just, it's just whatever the, the particular animal needs and would like to offer the, the fact that we're available whenever they need us, you know? Horses don't know if it's Christmas, Easter, or the 4th of July. You know, every day is the same. Well, Frank and Chloe, thank you guys so much for your time and thank you for your sponsorship of Virtual Horse Help and other reigning events and other shows and all that. You guys are a great part of this industry. Well, Amanda, we appreciate what you do and uh, uh, with Virtual Horse Help and also your contribution that you make and uh, the publicity you bring to companies like Markel and to people like Chloe and myself. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Chloe, for your time. Thank you, and knowledge is power.